So you heard of the story about the tortoise and the hare. You're hearing it today on the National Real Estate Cafe with Don Getling and Gino Franti. And today I'm actually going to ask you to be the hare. I'm going to ask you to take action mm -hmm. and do it quickly because things are changing very quickly and I don't want you to be left out. All right. So this is why you want to listen to the National Real Estate Cafe on a daily basis and share with your friends because we want this to grow because everybody needs this kind of information because the media jumped on the April sales numbers because they went down 3.3% and then all the media went, oh my gosh, the housing market is slowing. There's a problem with the housing market. Get out. This is why you have to read into the news because the headline, the sexy headline is that sales are down. Right. But when you really dig in, you could find out that NAR's chief economist, Lawrence Yoon, says that April's setback is a direct result of lagging supply. Mm. So if you look at that, we don't have homes available. Of course there can't be more sales. It's not like we have all these homes available and they're not moving. Mm -hmm. Then we don't have a very tight inventory market. So you may not be able to find the home of your dreams even if you want the home of your dreams, Don. And if you saw some of our previous videos, we talked about some of the reasons. One of them, we just gave you foreclosure information, meaning the foreclosures are way down. 25%, that means less inventory going in the market for you to buy so maybe you just haven't found that home of your dreams but the good news is year over year sales has increased for seven consecutive months and right around the 6.1 percent year over year level so we're talking some big numbers and it means that you need to take action so look i love reports but at the end of the day you look at these reports here's a good one right i love these reports me too 40 percent of property sold last month sold at or above value i mean that's a great piece of news that you can walk home with no doubt about it. Gino had a great story. We just had a client recently that the appraisal came in shy, and you're going to have this problem out there as well, and some of your clients well, and they're going to go, why should I pay $10,000 more, for example, than the appraised value? Well, we'll tell you why. One is that the appraisals can't keep up with the appreciation levels right now. Two, if you get out of that, by the time you get back into a home, oh, wait, it went up $10,000. What's another factor that they have to watch out for? Interest rates, Don. If interest rates continue to climb, the cost of home ownership is going to far exceed that $10,000 that the mm -hmm. appraisal came in low. Good news is we came up with a very creative strategy that didn't cost him any money out of pocket, didn't change his payment, and he was oh. unaffected by the low appraisal. How is that possible? Well, Lots of years of experience, Don. There you go. So make sure you work with a very experienced uh, mortgage planner, not somebody who's just answering the phone. And make sure you tune in daily to the National Real Estate Cafe to see what's brewing. And check us out at nrecafe.com.